Hi, Life Path 8s. Welcome in. Welcome into your reading. Um, Life Path 8, we're reading from pretty much mid-April to mid-May. Um, I realize I'm delayed. It's because I have a 9 to 5 and I have to do this now on weekends. <laughs> But with that said, I get to them when I can get to them. But these are great. The, these readings are awesome in the sense that they help you um, understand your life purpose, what you're here to do on Earth. Uh, and now we're just reading with using Tarot um, for the month of actually April to May. Now, Life Path 8, your purpose here on Earth is to achieve great success. And whatever that is for you, there are reasons why nothing will stop you. Nothing. Nothing will stop you until you achieve what it is that you want to do in this lifetime as far as success goes. And th there's a reason for this. There's a twofold for this. The reason for this is because you are meant to motivate and inspire others, maybe not intentionally and maybe not directly. But people see how you strive for this success. They see how you, you, you aim and your aim and how hard you work for what it is that you do and you motivate them. The other fold is the fact that some of you just end up becoming CEOs, you own your own businesses, and uh, or you're, you're just at a high-ranking position for some of you. If not, like I said, you try to make your own company, your own business. Either way, wherever you land, you, you impact people's life. Because if you are a CEO, you create jobs, you expand horizons. You also not only do all of these things, but think about it for a second. If you start your own company, eventually you're going to have to employ somebody. You're changing those employees' lives forever, one way or another. So this is your life purpose. Not only that, when you get to the top, you're meant to turn around and be like, hey, buddy, you want a helping hand? Let me pull you up here because there's plenty to go around. No need to be cutthroat. There's plenty to share. And if you operate from the positive, abundance will just keep coming towards you. All right? So there's that. Keep that in mind, guys. And let's see what else is going on here. We're almost done. Now, with that said, abundance is health, wealth, and love. So for some of you, you're seeking abundance in love. And for you, success might be having a great family life. That's it simple enough so apply it to whatever it is for you in your world now let's look at your recent past really quickly four of pentacles where i'm going to talk to you on both avenues as far as money work and love life all right because we're going to do a little bit of both now i try to concentrate on life path you and your energy alone i don't really want to dwell too much on the other person yes i'll probably find them in your reading um, and the people that you work with, etc. But this is more about you and the angle and your perspective and how to mitigate your own personal problems. Because you're here in search of a better life. You're here in search of how to get through something. All right, enough about that. Um, Four of Pentacles. For some of you, you're holding on to a person, an energy, a situation, or your money. You're holding on to your money, maybe for a rainy day, maybe you're saving, maybe because you're afraid you're in between projects or you're in between jobs. Um, three of Pentacles, you working with a team, you collaborating with a team. Some of you could be starting your own company, your own business, and you are networking with a team and you're trying to figure out how to save money here. You're also trying to be crafty, clever, stealthy here with the Seven of Swords, strategic. Now on the love front, it looks like somebody here in the recent past, you both made each other very, very happy, and then somebody might have ghosted. There was a method to their madness. Either this is you or them. And the reason for you to have been doing this is because you needed this person to collaborate with you. And so you were trying to be strategic in your ploy because you were holding on to this person. All right? So, yeah, some of you could be... I don't know, an air sign, you don't have to be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you could be dealing with one. It just talks about somebody here who doesn't really, you know, do the words of affirmation. Very, very stoic, very stealthy, but fair above board. Also goes within to make wise choices. Also very curious, wants to go on the new path because you and this person are very happy with one another. But somebody here got very crafty and ghosted. But there was a reason for them doing this. This could be you too. 
Uh, I don't know because life paths, we're basing it on numerology and tarot. So we're doing a combo. You are collaborating because you are holding on to some kind of energy here for sure. Now, let's get into your reading and let's not get too hung up on this. Now, in your current situation is the five of wands. Yes, obstacles, blocks, and challenges here with your person in love. There could also be competition for you. I'm going to clarify these and then we'll see what's going on here, eights. This can also be talking about a job or a career or position that's very challenging. Not just challenging, a lot of competition, all right, because it's friendly competition. So they're also arguing with somebody. At least you're not ignoring each other. Now, what's coming towards you is the Seven of Cups. You are reviewing your options in whatever that is, and you have many because you're desirable. Not only are you desirable in love, you're also desirable in the work and the position that you do because you have a lot of skill sets. And you're like, fuck this. I got options. <laughs> I'm going to review them. And you're thinking about that hard. That's what's coming towards you in your future position. This is, these are the energies you're going to be dealing with throughout the month going into May. What you don't see coming is strength. You're going to be holding back. And it's going to take all your strength to do this. Either you're going to be holding back your feelings, your emotions, or you're going to hold back from saying something. You're, you're trying to temper yourself in the sense that you're not going to jump too quick to do something. This could be somebody else that you're dealing with also. This is a Leo energy. Uh, we'll see. Uh, in your advice position, I can see why you're doing this. Again, because of the Seven of Swords, you might be trying to be crafty or clever um, or strategic. Now, in your I say this because in your advice, I have the Ace of Cups. Somebody's offering you love, and maybe you're trying to play this out uh, because you're trying to aim for great success, Eights. Sometimes, you know, love is not a business opportunity. <laughs> I know you see it that way, but it's not. So Spirit's like saying, what are you doing? This is fresh new love. What are you he why are you hesitating? Why are you playing games? It's not meant to be strategic. Guys, if you, if you don't know me, I call people out, I'm straight laced, I'm honest, and if that's the reading you want, great. You're, you're coming in because you're working on yourselves. Because you know every time you operate from a positive and you work on your shadow side, you elevate yourself. And every time you elevate yourself, you're vibrating higher and higher. And that high energy is extremely desirable. And everyone's going to want a piece of you. And as you step on those platforms in life, you're going to meet different people on those platforms. Better suited for you. And people you're going to rub shoulders with that you're going to learn from. And it's going to be very exciting for you. So accept this and don't reject this. There are reasons why sometimes we get success and then sometimes we fall. That's another thing you need to learn, eights, that when you fall, there's a lesson to learn because you're going to scoop yourself back up and you're going to keep going. And that is very motivational for others to see. Okay? Now, the hangman, you needing to see something from a different perspective. Knight of Pentacles, sure, take your time. This energy is incoming slow. You don't got to rush, but know that this is not a flaky night. So if this is money-wise, the money's coming in slowly, but you know, you got to look at it from a different perspective. It might take some time, but it's something that you love to do work-wise. Now, love-wise, Spirit's saying, listen, maybe this is not your normal person. This isn't somebody you date. Maybe this person doesn't think the way you think. They don't think in strategy. <laughs> they think in passion. They think in love. They think in emotions. I don't know how the hell they think. But Spirit's saying there's a fresh new love. You need to see it from a different perspective. You need to get yourself unstuck. The situation is stuck. You got to un get it unstuck. Because right now it's moving a little too slow for somebody. Um, but it's real. Because it's a pentacle. It's not fake. It's not bullshit. It, there's something here you guys can both work on here. Now, go for it, Spirit is saying. Your outcome, three of wands, you're waiting for something or someone. What are you waiting for? Let's see. Your ship is coming in because it's right there, you know, and you're looking at the time. It's like, oh, it's about due. So let's go ahead and start clarifying what's up here. Life path eights, universe, angel, spirit guides. Why is the five of wands here for them? Why is the five of wands here for them, please? Six of Cups in reverse. Something about your past isn't working out or someone from your past isn't working out. It almost feels like, yeah, here it is. This person is resisting you or rejecting you. Um, it feels challenged. 
all right? And it's something to do with your past. But this person, it seems like they're ignoring you or rejecting you or resisting you. And you, too, are challenged by the fact, like, you don't want to look at your past. You don't want to see that person. You don't want to see that job. You don't want to turn your shoulder and look behind you any fucking more. But guess what? It's still haunting you because you're holding on to the energy. I mean, you you could tell me whatever. <laughs> I'm just a video. But you've got to sometimes face yourself with the situation. Of course, if this isn't you, then this is the person that you're dealing with and their energy. But I really am trying hard to not hone in on anyone else's energy but your own. Spirit guides, please make sure that that guidance comes through in the cards. All right, let's keep going. Let me have one more for the Five of Wands. Let me see if I can add something else to the situation. Thank you. Yeah, you're looking for justice. You're looking for things to be fair and balanced. And you want your justice to come in. You want your happiness. That's it. Some of you might want a reconciliation. Some of you could have been in court. Listen, the fact that this is an upright position, you're going to get this. Justice will fall on your behalf. You will have your happiness. Not only that, it's like you win out from the competition if this is work-wise. If this isn't work-wise and this is love-related, some of you who have been are going through a divorce, you will come out on the other side very happy. All right? Others of you are challenged by your past. Because you're sitting here trying to birth something into this world with the person. All right, that's situation. Let's not dwell on this. Let's go see what's coming towards you. Uh, what's coming in? What is the set? Ooh, look at this. Ten of Cups and Ace of Pentacles. Holy shit. I was just shuffling and these were already upright. Meant to be. Crazy. I love these two cards together. What an amazing combination. You both love each other. You both make each other happy. And an Ace of Pentacles is the opportunity of a new relationship that's tangible. It's 3D. It's in your realm. You're Seven of Cups and you're reviewing this as an option. If this is work. This is a new job opportunity where you and your people are going to be happy with one another. You're going to feel like it's the right fit, the right combination. See her pregnant? You're birthing this into your world, your 3D. This is amazing. And you are reviewing your options because you do recognize the fact that you are an empress. You are that energy. You are the energy of high value. It doesn't matter if you're a male or female listening to me. Guys, I sometimes say he or she. Please don't get stuck on that. You know this is for all parties involved. Because we read off of energies and I'm going to say sometimes I'm going to look at the card and there might be a female there and I'll say she. I really mean you guys. So you are reviewing your options. Ten of Cups, happiness with somebody in this, but you're looking at it. You're like, do I do this or do I keep looking to see if there's something better out there? Be careful with the grass being greener on the other side kind of shit. The, the fucking grass is green where you water it. Remember me and remember those comments. I'm going to say it again so it sticks to you. The grass is not greener on the other side. The grass is green where you water it. All right? Okay, <laughs> moving on. I feel like a big fat meanie. <laughs> All right, guys, strength. All right, well, that was quick. I, I was so curious to know why strength is here. Strength is here because of high priest. Wow, 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 wow. Two major arcanas. Three of cups, high priestess, the wheel, and strength. That's one, two, three. Yep, three major arcanas plus the three of cups. You're using your strength, and this is what's going to surprise even yourself. You're using your strength to hold back because you're seeking the truth of a situation and you're trying to use your intuition and of course this can be with somebody you're not speaking with right now all right three of cups this is somebody you either want a reconciliation with or this was a third party situation big up big audience i need to read to all of you so please take what resonates for your storyline the wheel the wheel is talking about luck being on your side and big changes are coming ahead of you. Huge, especially those in work, all right, work related. You're working on your craft, you're keeping your head down, you're remaining focused and you're collecting these coins. This can be also about a relationship, wanting to work really hard for this to work out in a relationship. All right, you have a spiritual connection, spirit knows this and they're trying. 
to bring you in this reconciliation. Others of you, this is bringing in new change. Dating. Dating different people. Dating somebody that is very spiritual with the high priestess. But death here, it's like, for some of you, I really feel like this is somebody you have not been speaking with and now all of a sudden the opportunity is there for you to work on this relationship and have a new beginning because you both make each other happy but you're holding yourself back all right because you didn't speak in the past and now you're debating this in a way i don't really see the debate card i just see that spirit is st stepping in and that's a big deal because i'm somebody who's looking from the outside in in your world and from what I see, I see what spirit's trying to do. And I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to control it. Spirit's like saying, no, you need to go with the flow, my friends. All right? Because you might not see that you make each other very, very happy here. You're just analytical. You're just debating, like, on a practical level. And they're like, what are you doing? <laughs> it's not that. It's love. <laughs> but you're holding back. I, again, and I don't know if it's you trying to be strategic, but spirits like saying, look, what are you doing? No, just accept this love offer. And if you need to, just go slow, all right? But put yourself out there and make it known that you're interested. You need to see it from another person's perspective. Yeah, all right, let's keep going and see what your um, advice is. Let's clarify the Ace of Cups. Maybe I'm wrong as shit, but let me see. Spirit, tell me what. Am I wrong or, or is this something else? No, I'm not. Because some of you want a family. Some of you want children. Some of you want to birth something into this world. Maybe some of you are looking... You're an empress right now looking for your emperor. Because you want a legacy. You want to be a power couple. You're looking for that. Look, the strength is out again. You could be dealing with Leos or Taurus doesn't really matter and there's the five of wands repeating cards being um there might be competition for you too i don't know this is interesting for some of you but you also want structure you want stability with the four of wands you want foundation you want this engagement you want to birth this engagement or this stability and you want to level up in a relationship here with somebody but you're using your strength to to overcome and deal with these blocks, obstacles, and challenges, even arguments or this competition. Spirit's like, yeah, don't look at that. <laughs> look at it from a different perspective. Go slow. Go with the flow. Accept this love. You don't got to hold back all this much. I think you're starting to understand that because the devil in reverse is back here. So I don't know if you're dealing with the Capricorn. Maybe you are. Well, I don't know. But this is talking about understanding what's toxic and not wanting something to be toxic, not wanting something to be deleterious. You're acknowledging that because it's in the reverse. And of course, maybe this is the person that you're dealing with. You're, you're acknowledging that something was wrong and it needs to be rooted out, okay? Because if somebody's trying to control a love situation, that's control, that's not love. That's like, there's no place for that in a relationship because what happens then is you start tearing each other down instead of building each other up. You know, it's like if you start wanting to control a, a, a dynamic or a love ship, then the other person's going to try to do that too. And then it just slowly weakens the relationship over time. Instead, you want to motivate each other. Oh my God, that's what you did at work today? Damn, I'm so proud of you. Oh, the other person's going to turn around like, well, that's what you did at work? Oh, well, I'm proud of you. Maybe we should do something together outside of work, like a side hustle, build dreams, goals. That's 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 what you want to do. And a life path eight, you are magic at that. Now let's keep going. Three of wands. Uh, Eight of Wands, Ace of Wands, and Knight of Cups. All right, so, wow. All right, so yeah, some of you might be a little controlling, just a little bit. So if, maybe I'm talking to a cardinal sign. I don't know. I don't know all the cardinal signs. Aries is one, Capricorn is one. I don't know, maybe you're dealing with them. There's four. I don't know what the other two are. But the bottom of the deck, I am looking at Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is an energy that you're because you want to invest in a project or money wise others of you a relationship right so 
just for this period of time, you're waiting. What are you waiting for? You're waiting either for an apology or an invitation or something uh, on an emotional level that's a gesture. But you don't want a fucking page. You don't want bullshit. That's like pigeon status. You want eagle status. You want somebody to come in and drive this home on an emotional level. Like ask you out to speak, to go out for coffee, to go out for drinks, to go out on a date, whatever it is. Okay? You are waiting for that. That's what you're waiting for. Okay? You're also waiting for a passionate new beginning. You're waiting for that communication. Period. The end. Goodbye. You're waiting for this person to make that gesture to come towards you because you feel like you've done enough. And maybe you have. Or maybe not. You need to see something from a different perspective. Maybe that person's not thinking the way you're thinking. Maybe that person is not playing games and they think you are. Flip it, of course. And they don't want to play games, so they've distanced themselves. Maybe you want to see how much they care about you, so you're waiting for them to call you. Maybe you've done too much and you've done enough, and now they need to do their part. It can be all these things. I'm just reading the cards, what I see you doing and what the outcome is. You waiting on all of this. Why? I don't know. But in the extent that I will find out, link is down below. And this is for all tiers. This is not for the second tier. This is just access. Anybody who's a member has access to these extended videos. And it's the first tier, which is like uh, a cup of coffee, I think it's called. Now, let's get some cards from uh, your romance angels, uh, angels of abundance, health, wealth, money, love, and one from Spirit Guides Wisdom. I don't know this deck so well, so I might need to read it. I did have my Spiritual Fuck deck, which is great, but I took it to the office, and now it's like they almost killed me that I tried to take it home. <laughs> Everyone from the office is like picking one of those cards. Honeymoon is at the bottom of the deck. Some of you could be going through, a, this is coming down the pike. This is not now on the table. So maybe in mid of May, you might actually work something out and have a honeymoon phase. Um, this, some of you met somebody new and this could be the one in the extent that we clarify this with Tarot. That's why spirits like saying, take this new love. You have to see it from a different perspective. This person can actually be the one. Others of you that are debating because there's a Ten of Cups and an Ace of Pentacles here. What if this is the one and you have a missed opportunity? Shit, that would be fucked. <laughs> Guys, you don't want that. And I suspect like you might go for it because if Honeymoon is back here, you're probably going to go through a Honeymoon stage. You might realize they really could be the one. Let's see, Angels of Abundance. Work. What can we say about work and life and home and family and running the ship at home? All right. Successful funding. Your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of God that gave you the idea. All right. Do not allow money concerns. That's why we saw the four of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning it into reality. Okay. So that could be something that's fear based. No, you will find successful funding. GoFundMe is out there, all right? And all of those platforms are out there. Go for it. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Eights do not stop. The other card that came out is savings. Oh my God, this is the card of savings. As you continuously save for your future, your future is saved. You, uh, you do your future self a big favor as you consistently set aside pr present funds. This is also talking about if some of you have anxiety or fear about like running out of money. If you do this, that'll curb that feeling. All right, so that's that. Let's also do this, which I love the on the metaphysical end. Let's get one of these cards here from Wisdom of the Night. What do you have for Life Path 8s? Life Path 8s, please. Do you have something for Life Path 8s you want to tell me? Thank you. I have two. Message and High Priestess of Earth. Oh, snap. I love this. This is talking about being grounded. This is talking about being practical. It's like the Queen of Pentacles in a way. But let's see what it has to say.
when you choose the symbol of the high priestess of earth, Nyx, the goddess of night, is nudging you to take care of your health and your beautiful body. Interesting. Uh, Vampiri, high priestess of earth, symbolizes all things in the physical world. Your body, the body of earth, and the things that surround yourself. Now is the time to eat well, get rest, connect with the power of earth by walking barefoot. Be mindful knowing you are a child of flesh and bone who came alive through the blending of earth magic and your spirit. So this is talking about taking time for yourself, nurturing yourself, being a little selfish because you need it right now. You need a little TLC to give to yourself. Let's see what um, messages. That's interesting. I don't think I've read this one before. All right, get ready and pay attention. Ooh, snap. You're about to get a message with special meaning. That's what you have been waiting for. Um, you know that Knight of uh, Cups over there? Maybe someone will text you something nice or you will find out about something in a phone call. You are. Something in a phone call from a friend. Perhaps a letter will come in the mail or maybe I will send you a sign in nature that will point you in the right direction. I will send you a sign in nature. Here it is, the cards, the Wheel of Fortune. A message is coming. Choose another card if you need to know what that message is all about. Oh, you know we will in the extended. All right, guys. Uh, thank you. I hope you enjoyed that. And for those of you that are members, the link is down below.